And to know from Manchester, it's an ideal day for football here at the Etihad Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfielder Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Manchester City up against Crystal Palace. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Well, you can't watch Kevin De Bruyne and not be impressed, I think it's fair to say, Stuart. What in particular do you expect to see from him in this game? Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson stands between the posts. Kyle Walker plays with Joao Cancelo in the fullback positions. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Rodri in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And so the battle commences. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. And cuts inside. Mavis! He knew he had to make the tackle and did. Mavis. Oh, surely. There it is. And just the ideal start. Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Wilfred Zaha. Schlup. Odson Edouard. Are you? Fluency of movement. This could level it. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. City finding space on the flank. Attack carried promise, but petered out. Are you Anderson? This is Klein. Ezzy looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Mares Jeffrey Schroep Sheikh Dukure Wilfred Zaha Jeffrey Schroep 
And Zaha has it. Ezzy. Real chance. And he's missed it. Good heavens. Well, that's a big miss. That should have been the equaliser. looking position you've got to say and a chance to whip it in here he's using his strength to good effect sloppy there Bernardo Silva are you Ducouré a go well the keeper has outdone himself wonderful save over it comes and cleared away This looks interesting. He knows he's got to react. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. And now to level the game. And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. Well, let's have another look because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved. They've played really well so far. away again here on the back of that leveller Holland it's with Laporte Ruben Diaz Rodri well great read there to intercept no possibilities inside the box well, truth be told, he's only had a very limited influence on this game, Stuart. Yeah, their passing hasn't been great, but he just hasn't done enough to receive the ball in dangerous areas. He needs to be doing more in and around that penalty box. City pushing forward with options available. Grealish here's Bernardo Silva can he put them in front yes is the emphatic answer and you have to say it was on the cards well here we can see it again and no wonder the manager is furious they just have to get tighter here deal with the danger otherwise that's the outcome not good enough defensively The action underway again. The onus very much on Palace to find a response now. Ducouré. Ezzy. 
and Edouard with it. An alert piece of defending. Bernardo Silva. And unable to keep possession. He made it look simple, really. Silva. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, it was a thoroughly dominant first half showing by Jack Grealish. And Stuart, I know you enjoyed every minute of it. Well, it's been an incredible performance from him. Clearly the difference between the two sides. Obviously the goals, but his movement too. He's causing the back line all sorts of headaches. He'll no doubt be desperate to grab that. Well, advantage City after the first 45 minutes, but a long way from being decided. Joao Cancelo. The ball with Rodri. Silva. Grealish. Holland. De Bruyne. Oh, good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averted. care of business defensively here Mares here's De Bruyne and pull back can he make it count splendid defending and it needed to be are you beautifully disguised ball well, that is how to nullify the opposition. And options in the centre. And Bernardo Silva has it. Ball is loose. Holland. De Bruyne. It's got to be. Wonderful header. Excellent goalkeeping. City hungry to add to their lead. It's a corner. Well, they've decided to make a change. And now the delivery. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Oh, surely. Mares. Well, no problems defensively. So a half an hour remaining. Anderson. And Edouard with it. Wilfred Zaha. And return to Zaha. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. A goal! A back and forth type of game. Now they're level. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Split the four goals between them so far. Bernardo Silva. What a shame, really, because the move was promising, but no end product from them. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. Celebrating your birthday. Happy birthday, Jay, from all of your friends. 
well. This is a really good game of football. Both sides have played well going forward. There's been plenty of chances, goals and a lot of near misses. It's been great entertainment. Timely intervention. 20 minutes remaining. Silva. Here's Grealish. Rodri. Jack Grealish. And a creative look about this. Now he must favour the cross. Holland. Here's Bernardo Silva. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. And give it away. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Schlup. They're on the scent of a winner late in this game. Zaha. Big chance. A wonderful save to keep it level. That's a wonderful save. He was so alert there. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Number six, Nathan Aki. Substitution for Crystal Palace. Coming off the bench, number 15, Jeffrey Schlupp. To be replaced by... And there's the delivery. And the problem not completely solved. Sheikh Ducouré. And Riedewald has it. Doughty defending to win the ball back. Well, the atmosphere is electric at the moment, but can City reward their fans with a winner? You sense it might be coming. De Bruyne. Manchester City still on the attack as the minutes tick away. Can they come up with a winner? Towards Bernardo Silva. Can he finish here? Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. But look at the defenders. They lose their concentration, become sloppy with their marking, and as a result, they find the ball in the back of their net. Just not good enough. So a personnel change then. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Wilfred Zaha. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Rodri. It's with Joao Cancelo. Holland. Rodri. This could be it. And it is. He's done it. Surely a case of game over. Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block, which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net. Goal for Manchester City! 
And that is that full time here and a win for City. Your verdict? Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. But he really turned on the style. A very memorable performance by Jack Grealish. What impressed you most of all? Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And of course, he scored two really good goals.